Shout out to Nico because they have lent me their account for a massive 265 crate opening. Use the first link in the description to go and check them out on Twitter. Drop them a follow. Without them, this video wouldn't be possible. And hang on. Thank you so much to all of you for the support on the videos lately. Because for the first time since trading got removed from Rocket League, the Pick a Pixel channel grew a net positive of subscribers on a few days last week. Now, we go up new subscribers every day. But with the removal of trading, a lot of people get removed from the channel. Some people unsubscribe, etc, etc. So for the first time in nearly a year, we've gone up subscribers. So if you want to see regular videos, lots of fun, high editing, subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. I really do appreciate it. And a huge shout out to Palmer John, who joined the channel, clicking the join button down below, just supporting me that little bit more. I really do appreciate it. But now, as I've been doing for about four years on YouTube now, we have another fan opening. I'll have another one coming up on the channel soon as well. If you have a lot of drops like this, then by all means, reach out to me. Both the people whose account I'm opening on the channel soon reached out to me on Twitter. So if you want to do that, then just reach out to me and we can get this done. But this in particular is a great selection. It's not just a ton of sport drops and special drops and everything like that. The stuff that we're not particularly interested in as far as luck goes. We've got one, four import drops here, which is insane, but a couple of years worth of golden crates. As you can see, we go back to Golden Pumpkin 22, Golden Gift 22. So Golden Pumpkin 22 was two years ago. So we have two years worth of golden crates that you can get just from playing the game for the last two years, which is super exciting. A 60 golden crate opening. That is almost a video in itself, and it probably will be. I'll probably open all of these drops first, show you any highlights, and then I'll show you every single golden crate because I haven't done a 50 plus golden crate opening since before trading was a thing. Since before trading was not a thing, actually. And yes, the big headphones are back because the earphones that I used to use actually got ripped to shreds when I went dog sitting last week. And that's why the uploads were a little bit less frequent because I had to pre-record some stuff because I was dog sitting for a week and they rinsed my headphones. <laughs> I'll probably take these off. We don't need them. But what I'll do, I'll open the sport drops, the special drops and the deluxe drops and show you all the highlights if there are any. And then we'll open all of the other cool crates after that. So drop a like and let's get to it. Before I do get to the first highlight, I do just want to say once again, Thank you so much for the support on the channel, the likes, people subscribing. There are actually new people finding the channel, commenting, saying, hey, just found this guy. And I actually kind of like him. And I really do appreciate that. And because I'm not uploading every single day, I'm doing every other day. I can put double the amount of time and effort into each video compared to how I was able to before. And it just means the videos are better. And I've had comments people saying actually that they prefer, you know, three or four videos a week rather than seven, especially if they're better videos because there's less time required to watch them. But also you're getting better content. So I'm glad we found a happy medium of like four videos a week. I'm really enjoying it and I'm enjoying the editing and the way the videos are turning out. So thank you so much. And now let's get in with some more crates. Obviously, there'll probably be less edits on this video because it will just be crate after crate after crate. But, you know, the gameplay ones especially, uh, you guys are watching them for longer. There's more people clicking on them and you guys are enjoying them and you're holding my videos to a higher standard. Now, when you see a Pick a Pixel video and you recommend it or your sub box, you can be sure that it's going to be well edited, entertaining, rather than back in the day where I'd sometimes just play one or two games uncut and provide not a lot of value. Today, we're all about providing a good experience for you and a fun experience for me. And I think we're doing really well. So I'll see you for the first highlight. I'm going to guess that it'll be... Um, you know what? I'm going to say Painted Flamethrower. I was going to say Painted Octane, but I just don't see it. So we'll go Painted Flamethrower for the first highlight. We have 150 of these drops to open. So hopefully we get something. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a hero. I thought it was a Fennec. Painted. It's got to be painted. The spoiler. It's going to be a Roadhog in Forest Green. Ah, <sighs> okay. We are more than 50 drops in and we've got nothing. Just that Roadhog you saw. The Golden Crates will be better. You can actually get cool, good stuff from the Golden Crates. And with 60 odd to open, maybe a little painted black market. You never know. <laughs> Just got a message from Nico, whose account I'm opening right now. And they said, please get me white zombies. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> We're halfway through the special drops. And yeah, we've still got nothing. <laughs> still got nothing, man. Grog. <laughs> That's the highlight. That's, that's the thumbnail. <laughs> hey, there we go. We actually got a decent item. It's not one that they don't already have, but <laughs> it's a Fennec. We'll, we'll take it. 130 odd drops later, we finally got something actually worth talking about. Hey, and soon after, Burnt Sienna Merc. <laughs> the luck is beginning to turn. Not another one. Oh, I thought it was an Octane. Oh, Saffron OEMs, that's 
pretty good. That's pretty good. We've had some much better luck towards the end of these special drops. Then we'll, of course, do the deluxe drops, which are very rare. And then I'll show you everything of the import and the golden crates. But we've been opening drops for over half an hour now. So, yeah, I couldn't show you all of this. I, I simply couldn't. It, it wouldn't have been worth it. <laughs> all right, this is the final special drop. And then we're going to move on to the deluxe drops. And then things should get interesting. I think what I'll do, I'll do the deluxe and import drops and then do all the trade ups just so I don't accidentally mix golden items with drop items. So we have 42 more drops to go and then it gets golden. But hopefully now we get some better luck here where we can't just get rare after rare after rare. <laughs> First exotic of the video, it's going to be a pulsus wheel. Fair enough. Obviously, they can't be painted in these drops, the exotics. So there's not a lot you can really be excited about, but still 20% of a non-painted black market trade-up, I guess. <laughs> Another painted OEM, not black. That's really the only color you want. Maybe we could get one of those today. All right, so that is it. We now have four import drops and then I'll do a bunch of trade-ups. See if we can maybe get a painted Octane or painted standard at some kind of decent black market. And then that's a dub. That's a huge dub just for the for the OGs. This, this car came out nearly eight years ago. It was October 2016, so you got to love it. Champions Crate 3, and then we'll, of course, do a Golden Crate opening, throwing it all the way back. Okay, <laughs> an Octane ZSR, another throwback, December 2016 in the Champions 4 Crate. Maybe we can get some other kind of old import car. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a Ninja Star import rocket boost. Not exactly the same vibe. Are we getting four out of four imports for these? We're not. Hey, there's our first black market. We got fireworks from an import drop. I'll take it been a while since i've seen the old black market glow let's do some trade-ups and then we will do everything else that we need to do the golden opening and stuff this is all from today so this, there's no point keeping it back he had no trade-up material here before so i think we can just trade up pretty much everything and this is all pretty much what we've got today as far as i can see so I'll do these trade-ups and then we'll do the golden crates. I'll show you any highlights and then we'll get into the good stuff. It's been <laughs> nearly 45 minutes, so hopefully we can have something for our troubles. I suppose here we're trying to get a painted OEM or something like that, painted stern wheels. I don't think you can get painted dicey wheels from these anymore. Maybe you can. Then, of course, after we open all of the golden crates, we'll do golden trailers where you can get, you know, cool painted exotics, cool painted black markets. And that'll be hopefully a lot more exciting because the fact that they killed the drops, not only in terms of drop rate and what you can get in terms of a luck standpoint, it's also mostly non-painted. So it's also mostly not worth the hassle either. So we're going to trade up all of these and keep the salty banner behind and move on. Now we have 17 chances to get ourselves a painted octane so this is just like throwing it back i mean we used to do when the luck in the trade of luck was this bad we would do 200 of these trade-ups per video so we're about 10 percent of what we would do back in the day but this is still pretty good because without trading it's not easy to happen upon this many items so that's of course why i had to stop the trade up and create opening videos for the most part because you have to play the game to get these items and as you can see by nico's account that takes years as opposed to an hour of trading so that's why the videos have sort of slowed down, if you will, with regards to trade-ups and creative things. But I still do enjoy them when I get to do them because it is like a bit of a throwback. But it's also something I don't have to, or I'm not able to do as often. So currently, all we can really say for these trade-ups is that we got a painted breaker. We got a painted venom. We've had quite a lot of cars, to be honest. Just no octane. And that's really the only one that you want. You can't trade them. I'll keep a Marauder back because I think that's one of the most underrated cars in Rocket League. Dominus GT, Champions Crate 1, little throwback there as well. Takumi Distortion, we'll keep one Takumi, we'll keep the Magmus as well. Trade up an SLK, we've got a Dystro there, let's trade up, uh, we'll keep the Takumi as I said. Keep a Vulcan because I think that car's pretty good and we'll keep everything else there. I'm not going to trade up anything else and now we're going to get a couple of black markets from these trade ups here so i'll show you what they are when we get there you can obviously trade up one fennec because you don't need any duplicates when there's uh, no trading <laughs> so we'll trade that up let's see what we've got here we can trade up that definitely that that can go we'll trade up the x devil and the roadhog xl keep the painted stuff and now let's see what black markets we can get there's a purple chrono there but i'm not going to bother trading that up i'll keep the zomba because he wants white ones so we'll get one black market we have a fireworks and singularity so that's what we got from basically 200 drops a fireworks a singularity and a couple of painted wheels nothing too crazy 
So now we move on to what should be much more exciting. We're going to do most recent here and start with the older ones and then finish with the newer ones. So Golden Pumpkin 22, two years old. I can't remember what most of these crates are made up of. As I've opened hundreds of drops on this account in a row, there has been a bit of a, an issue with the Rocket League servers. So hopefully that doesn't hold us up. But we're kicking it off with Anthesis Wheels in Titanium White. It's good to see some paint. That's our first Titanium White item of the video. We've got an import now. Maybe another painted. Kyrgios Purple Striker. This, see, this is already so much more interesting. And obviously with the Golden Crates, unlike OG Crates, where the painted chance was 25%. The painted chance of an item from a golden crate, if of course it can be painted, is 50%. Because, you know, six, seven, eight years ago, they had these events in Rocket League where it was like double drop rate or 2x painted events. Where for like a week in Rocket League, all trade ups and all crates doubled in terms of the likelihood of getting something painted. Whereas now with golden crates, it's like double drop rate every single time you open a crate. So I like the fact that Rocket League did that, even though, you know, back in the day it was so fun. This is good. Oh, it's a regular Neo-Yo. I figured, I'm not sure if you can get Zombas in a Golden Gift 22, but, you know, that was a 50% chance of being a painted exotic. So every time we get an exotic, or, you know, if we're lucky enough to get a black market, there's a decent chance it's painted. So this is why this is much more exciting, and why I can show you, and why it's, it is just a little bit of a throwback. But here we go. The Yamanes. I think they're a decent wheel, actually, but, you know, ever since trading's gone, you, you don't need a million Yamanes in your, uh, in your inventory. That's the problem with no trading. It's got to be a pretty special item for you to think, yes, I'm going to equip that on my one preset. Because you can only wear one wheel at one time. So unless it's something insane, like, that's okay. But you're not. that's not going to be your number one boost, is it? So it's a bit of a weird one. You've got to get something super standout like white Zombas or, you know, white mainframe. Something crazy to really make you want to use it. But then saying that, because there is no trading... These items don't have any sort of inherent value. They're only valued based on how much you like them. So if you think Friction is the best trail in Rocket League, then that crate is the biggest win ever. You know what I mean? So that does make it a bit, a bit more exciting. It's kind of down to personal preference. If you use the Breakout and you really want a Sweeper Astaroth decal, that is the greatest crate of all time. So it's interesting, but let's see what we can get here. A couple of rares that I'm not, you know, too happy about. Granted... Titanium White Lone Wolf is one of the greatest rares that have ever existed in Rocket League. Like, genuinely, I've used that before and would use it again. So that's a huge win. That is a big win. That's one I'm not going to trade up. I don't even know Nico's preferences, really. Just know that they want White Zombas. But Titanium White Lone Wolf, that is one we're going to keep. Golden Egg 23 now. I can't remember if this is one of the Golden Eggs where it's exclusively Champions Crate items. It might very well be because Breakout Vice was from Champions Crate 1. And then the uh, the old pixelated golden eggs, they were other newer series. But the Hotshot High Tech, I believe that was also a Champions Crate item. So if we're going to get a black market here, it won't be painted from this crate. But we could also get a White Zomba from this crate. That's obviously Champions Crate 1. Golden Egg 23, Penultimate 1 now. It's going to be a rare... It's going to be the Roadhog Carbonated, the Discount Parallax, if you will. Final one. Give us a White Zomba. White Striker Zombas. It could happen. It can't happen. It's going to be the Shisha. The Shisa decal, I should say. Fair enough. That was actually pretty good back in there. I didn't, I didn't mind that. Golden Trophy now. We've got Golden Trophies, Golden Cups. All kinds of different Golden things. This is a very rare, and it's going to be anodized. Okay. Not terrible. Not amazing, but still, you'd keep one in your inventory for the customization options. I feel like since trading has gone, the paint finishes and stuff like that have sort of... I feel like they've almost gone up, in my opinion, because you might as well keep one to actually do something cool to your car rather than, you know, hoarding valuable items that you could trade off, you know? So, I guess we'll see when we can open crates, and I'll get back to you. Golden Trophy, come on now. There we go. Come on. Come on. It's an import. Is it gonna? It's gonna be the Ninja Star in sky blue. Okay, fair enough. Two more to go. It seems we fixed the problem. Let's see what we can get here. It's another rare. I might, given how this is going, I might just do highlights again. But also with golden crates, highlights are easy to come by. So I'd say imports and above because they could be painted. I'll show you those. Golden gift 23 now. I can't remember if it was 23 or 22 that is genuinely the best crate in Rocket League. It might be the Golden Gift 22, but if not, it's the Golden Gift 23. One of those two gifts is the best Golden Crate Rocket League has ever released. So maybe we get something good from here. You never know. Christmas tree, that's a little bit of an L. I think it is the Golden Gift 22 because I don't remember 
the Christmas items being in the the uh, golden crate 22 or the, the good one so either way we've got an import now happy holidays i'll take it yeah, I'll take christmas is slowly rapidly approaching not too bad we now have the 2024 crates a lot of them golden moon golden cup golden x crate golden egg golden record and golden trophy 30 crates obviously they pop up in random in-game rocket league events that used to be a lot more infrequent it would be golden pumpkin for haunted hallows which i assume is also coming up around the corner golden gift for frosty fest and then golden egg for the summer event that was really the only ones we got and now they're just churning out golden crates but i don't know man it's it's just not the same all right moving on to the golden cups here we go golden cups done onto the golden x crates now come on this is good this is good it's an equalizer it's not painted haven't quite had the luck with the paint for the exotics i think we've had two and neither been painted so can we get it on the third try we can ara's cobalt which means there are zombies in this crate because ara comes from the champions crate 4 which is the crate that the zombies first came out in the ara was the other one in the crate that you didn't want to get so that means it, we kind of took an l on that one we got the wrong c4 exotic but breakout type s pretty cool so there's c3 and c4 items in the golden x crate it's a little bit strange but Fair enough. We've got the Octane Roadkill. And now one more Golden X Crate. Can we get another exotic? Another chance? Nope. It's going to be rare. We're moving on to the next one. Shisa. I didn't realize the Golden X Crate was just a bunch of champions items. But now we have the Golden Egg 24. Which might also be champions items. Because the eggs seem to be like that. It's going to be a rare. Let's test the theory. I don't know if that's an old one. I don't think it is. This is the last Golden Egg. And there has been literally nothing to report. And it continues to be that way. I think that was just all rares. So we now move to the golden record and then the golden trophy to finish. Then we do trade ups where it will be interesting. We're going to get black markets. We're going to get exotics. Will they be painted? They might be. Just like those infiniums in Burnt Sienna. Always intriguing. Let's see what we can get. I'd love a black market in the crate. But either way, we're going to get them in the trade ups. So I'll see you when we get our next highlight. Nearly an hour in <laughs> to the session. Golden record's done. Golden trophies now. Come on. Give us something good. We've opened 260 crates and we now have four more to go. Maybe we'll do a couple superstitions. We'll do a like the video crate. So like the video and the next one will be lucky and we'll combine it with the old lucky beard. If you know, you know. Come on now. You've liked the video and I appreciate that. It's an import. It's going to be a neothermal. Okay. Fair enough. Two more to go. Come on. Let it be good. Let it be good. It's a, it's a deluxe. It's very rare. Bob's Ramen final crate. And then we'll do the trade-ups and finish this. Okay, no black markets in the crates. Other than the import drop, of course. But now I'll trade up all the way to imports because there's nothing really important and below that we want. And then I will show you the painted exotics and black markets that we get. We will be mixing series slightly here with these trailers, of course. But hey, Reapers, that would have been cool to get painted. All right, so there's not actually that many, not that many chances here. So let's see what we can do here. I'll go to series and see if there's a way we can maybe improve our chances of getting a painted zomba but saying that there's only two trade-ups we can actually do so we're gonna go with this one i think you can get zombas there i think you can get them i don't know i actually don't know i think we're just gonna have to do it and hope for the best i want to keep happy holidays but we might have to trade them up anyway so number one balakara forest green that's a little bit of an l we're gonna go with you uh let's trade up these keep the happy holidays and hope we still get a golden exotic we do it's a cobalt equalizer now for black markets let's try and make it a painted one you 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 okay you're 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 okay maybe we keep the burnt sienna infiniums trade up the cobalt equalizers that we don't want to risk it being not a drop uh, or not a golden black market so we need to make sure these are all golden black markets so here we go we've got one chance what's a rubbish series golden record golden record golden x crate i think i quite like that this is it this is the black market trade -up. so we had fireworks singularity we've got a burnt sienna infinium and it's all on this black market come on this is a fire god it can't be painted but it's still a fire god it's still decent there we go and we are done with hundreds of crates. If we go to garage and manage inventory, we can actually have a little look and see essentially what we got. Uh, quality will do on only the items that we've got in this video, which would be right here. 
So this is where it started, I think, from the Shakrams, maybe. I want to say maybe the Shakrams, and this is what we got. We scroll up. It's not the best, to be honest. You'd want more, but how much can you really expect from how bad the drops are? We got Fire God, which is pretty cool. Happy Holidays is a highlight, and a White Lone Wolf too. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the White Zombas, but hey, Pink OEMs too. That's not too bad. But nevertheless, that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. Subscribe down below to join the Pixel Army. And uh, make sure to check out Nico over on Twitter using the link in the description. I've been Pixel. You've been awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Flying in a missile. Hate is throwing shade. Never pick me. Not an issue. I am a beast. I'm at the top. I run these beats. I hold my spot. So stop before it hits you. It's Pixel. Pixel.